Welcome back to Living 808. Blue Note Hawaii in Waikiki features some of the state's most renowned artists every month. Now this month, two local groups will pay tribute to two legends. Local jazz group to Shannon Higa and Quad Pod will play tribute to Miles Davis and bassist John Colivas and friends present a tribute to the one and only Stevie Wonder. Here with all of the details, the Shannon Higa and John Colivas. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Okay, let's start with you, DeShannon. Mm. So you guys are doing the tribute to Miles Davis. Right. Okay, tell us, you know, why you chose that, what, what your relationship is, what, what inspired you? Well, on a, on a personal note, Miles uh, had a big influence on me as, as a trumpet player, as, a, as an artist, as a musician. And uh, so he's definitely, like, influenced my, my playing as a jazz artist. And so uh, a lot of people have done tributes to, to Miles, but I wanted to do specifically a, a, a specific era of his career that's arguably maybe the most popular um, of his career, and that is the period from uh, 1955 to 1958 that, that uh, people have called the first great quintet. And so we have the, the guys in place to do it here in Hawaii, and so I just wanted to assemble uh, the best guys that, that I know here to play with me to pay tribute to this particular era of Miles's career. Well, that's what I was going to ask you, is how are you planning, you know, this tribute? So what, what do you have planned? Um, well, we're going to do uh, some particular songs from that era that, that are very popular, that people know. Um, that leads up to his uh, probably the most famous jazz album ever recorded, which is Kind of Blue in 1959. And, uh, and so we're going to do songs that, that uh, pay tribute to that, that era that people will recognize. You know, Miles is, is one of those uh, rare talents that, that people uh, find very attractive. He played with, with a sense of uh, lyricism. And, and melody, he made the trumpet sound like a like a human voice, and that's what made him so popular. And that's what I want to accentuate and bring out in, in this show. Now, the Miles Davis tribute is is when? Is March fifteenth. March fifteenth. Okay, mm -hmm. so next week, mm -hmm. right around the corner. Yes. Um, and after that, will be the tribute to Stevie Wonder. So tell us yes. about that tribute and and what your connection is to Stevie Wonder. I think I think everyone has a connection to Stevie Wonder. I mean, his his music is just so, so wonderful. I remember going to his concert here at the Blaisdell Arena back when I was about 12 years old and just being blown away by his music. And so, and, and it's so unique, you know, it's Motown, but it's, it's funky, it's very, extremely soulful. And so it's just uh, such a privilege to be able to do this tribute to him. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that event is on March 22nd, is yeah, that right? Yeah, March 22nd at the Blue Note. At the Blue Note. Okay, we're going to have all of the information on our website. Before I head out, though, please introduce your two uh, other two members here. Okay, we have on the keyboard uh, Reggie Padilla. He'll also actually be playing uh, tenor saxophone on uh, March 15th. Okay. And Daryl Pellegrini uh, playing the drums. Okay, and who's doing vocals for the... Is it the Miles Davis? Stevie yeah, Wonder? that would be a Mahi, Mahi Kekumu, a wonderful okay. singer. Yeah. Terrific. Thank you so much, men. Take it away. Thank you. One, two, one. Mm -mm.